USS Nimitz, CDN-68, is an aircraft carrier of the United States Navy and the lead ship of her class. One of the largest warships in the world, she was laid down, launched, and commissioned as CVAN-68, aircraft carrier, attack, nuclear-powered, but she was later redesignated as CVAN-68, aircraft carrier, multi-mission, nuclear-powered, on June 30, 1975, as part of a fleet-wide realignment that year. The ship was named after World War II Pacific Fleet Commander Chester W. Nimitz, USN, 1885-1966, who was the Navy's third fleet admiral. Nimitz had her home port at Naval Station Norfolk until 1987, when she was relocated to Naval Station Bremerton in Washington, now part of Naval Base Kitsap. Following her refueling and complex overhaul in 2001, her home port was changed to Naval Air Station North Island in San Diego County, California. The home port of Nimitz was again moved to Naval Station Everett in Washington in 2012. In January 2015, Nimitz changed home port from Everett back to Naval Base Kitsap. With the inactivation of USS Enterprise in 2012 and decommissioning in 2017, Nimitz is now the oldest US aircraft carrier in service, and the oldest serving aircraft carrier in the world. Construction Nimitz was authorized by the U.S. Congress in fiscal year 1967 and Newport News Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company in Newport News, Virginia, was awarded the $106.5 million contract, equivalent to $934.69 million today. The keel was laid down on June 22, 1968. The vessel was christened on May 13, 1972 by Catherine Nimitz Lay, the daughter of the late Admiral Nimitz, six years after his death. Nimitz was delivered to the Navy in 1975 and was commissioned at Naval Station Norfolk on May 3, 1975 by the 38th President of the United States, Gerald R. Ford. 1970s USS Nimitz first deployed to the Mediterranean Sea on July 7, 1976 with Carrier Air Wing 8 embarked in company with the nuclear-powered cruisers USS South Carolina and USS California. In November 1976, Nimitz was awarded the Battle E from Commander, Naval Air Force U.S. Atlantic Fleet, for being the most efficient and foremost aircraft carrier in the Atlantic Fleet. The cruise was uneventful, and the carrier returned to Norfolk, Virginia on February 7, 1977. A second uneventful Mediterranean cruise was conducted from December 1, 1977 to July 20, 1978. The third deployment began on September 10, 1979 to the Mediterranean. The ship moved to the Indian Ocean in response to the Iran hostage crisis in which the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, Iran, was overtaken and 52 hostages were held. Prior to this trip, the ship took part in the shooting of the 1980 film The Final Countdown, whose story was specifically set aboard the Nimitz. After four months on station, Operation Evening Light was launched from Nimitz's decks in an attempt to rescue the U.S. Embassy staff. The mission was aborted after a helicopter crashed at a refueling point in the Iranian desert. The ship returned home May 26, 1980, having spent 144 days at sea. 1990s On February 25, 1991, Nimitz departed Bremerton for the Persian Gulf and relief of USS Ranger in the aftermath of Operation Desert Storm, returning to Bremerton on August 24, 1991. Nimitz again deployed to the Persian Gulf on February 1, 1993, in support of Operation Southern Watch, returning on August 1, 1993. On November 27, 1995, Nimitz deployed to the Western Pacific, Indian Ocean, and Persian Gulf with Carrier Air Wing 9, CVW-9. In March 1996, the ship patrolled the waters off Taiwan amid missile tests conducted by the Chinese in the area, becoming the first American warship to pass through the Taiwan Strait since 1976. Nimitz also cruised the Persian Gulf in support of Southern Watch prior to returning from deployment on May 20, 1996. Two thousands. 
On September 21, 2001, after sea trials in the Virginia Capes, Nimitz began to transit around South America to the new home port of Ineas North Island in San Diego, California, arriving there on November 13, 2001. Aircraft from Carrier Air Reserve Wing 20 were embarked for the transit. From January to May 2002, a four-month post-shakedown maintenance availability was completed at North Island, during this time Advanced Combat Direction System was installed. Nimitz's 11th operational deployment began on March 3, 2003. The group relieved USS Abraham Lincoln in the Persian Gulf in mid-April 2003, launching Carrier Air Wing 11 aircraft sorties over Iraq in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom OIF, and Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom OEF. She returned to San Diego on November 5, 2003. Nimitz and CBW-11 were awarded the 2003 Battle E and Flatley Award in early 2004. 2010s In January 2010, while in the Persian Gulf, the ship was awarded the Meritorious Unit Commendation for back-to-back -back deployments in support of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan in 2007 and 2008. The award was presented by Admiral Gary Ruffhead in a ceremony on the ship on January 6, 2010. Nimitz visited Hong Kong for five days in February 2010 to allow the crew to rest and visit the city. The visit occurred despite China previously preventing a visit by the carrier USS Kitty Hawk. On December 9, 2010, the Navy formally announced that Everett, Washington was to be the new home port for Nimitz. This move was expected to save the Navy $100 million. On March 9, 2012, Nimitz arrived at her new home port of Naval Station Everett after spending nearly a week at sea conducting post-overhaul sea trials. Two hundred and seventy-two thousand and twenties. COVID-19 Pandemic In April 2020, the coronavirus was reported to have spread to Nimitz when the first case was reported on April 7. One sailor had received a positive result the previous week after exhibiting symptoms, and was subsequently placed in isolation and removed from the ship. Another crew member also tested positive, but was reported to have not been working on the ship. On April 27, Nimitz completed a 27-day quarantine and began CompuX training. On July 5, 2020, the ship was deployed in the South China Sea along with USS Ronald Reagan. Planned Retirement The Nimitz-class carriers have a lifespan of approximately 50 years. Estimates on decommissioning for Nimitz herself were updated in April 2022, with the Navy Press Corps indicating that, USS Nimitz, CVN-68, is planned to be removed from the battle force in fiscal year, FY, 2025, when the ship's terminal offload program begins, with inactivation scheduled to begin in 2027. General Characteristics Class and Type Nimitz class aircraft carrier. Displacement. 100,020 long tons, 112,020 short tons. Length. Overall, 1,092 feet, 332.8 meters. Waterline, 1,040 feet, 317.0 meters. Beam. Overall, 252 feet, 76.8 meters. Waterline, 134 feet, 40.8 meters. Draft. Maximum navigational, 37 feet, 11.3 meters. Limit, 41 feet, 12.5 meters. Propulsion. 2 times Westinghouse A4W nuclear reactors, HEU 93.5%. 4 times steam turbines. 4 times shafts. 260,000 shop, 194 megawatts. Speed. 31.5 knots, 58.3 kilometers per hour, 36.2 miles per hour. Range. Unlimited distance, 20 to 25 years. Complement. Ships Company, 3,532. Air Wing, 2,480. Sensors and. Processing Systems and Slash SPS-48E 3D Air Search Radar 
and slash SPS 49 V 52 D air search radar and slash SPQ 9 B target acquisition radar and slash SPN 46 air traffic control radars and slash SPN 43 C air traffic control radar and slash SPN 41 landing aid radars for times MK 91 NSSM guidance systems four times MK 95 radars Electronic Warfare and Decoys and Slash SLQ-32A, V, for Countermeasure Suite SLQ-25 and Nixie Torpedo Countermeasures Armament 2 times Sea Sparrow 2 times RIM 116 Rolling Airframe Missile 2 times Phalanx CIWS, Close-In Weapon System, Gatling Guns 4 times 38 Malawian Quatches 25mm Autocannon Turrets 10 by 0 0.50 cal turret emplacements. Aircraft carried. 90 fixed wing and helicopters.